Hello, I am Jeroen from Evil Turtle Productions and you are watching a demonstration and instructional video for Crazy Counter. In this video, I'll show off some of the features of this VST plugin and I'll explain the interface in short. This VST plugin can be downloaded for free at our web store www.evilturtle.nl slash store. The plugins of the Crazy series are based on a different approach to measures and rhythms particularly polyrhythms or polymelodies. Instead of using predefined note lengths to create a time signature, the plugins use tempo ratios between the different channels. The base tempo used is your DAW project tempo. Let's take a look at Crazy Counter itself. For each channel, you can set the note length, ratio, the MIDI note, MIDI note octave, MIDI channel and MIDI note velocity. There's also one knob in the middle that sets the overall volume of the metronome beeps. Let me just turn those on. So currently I'm in a ratio of 1 against 1. In this case, this means that both channels are running at my project tempo, which is 120 BPM. Now I'm running the second channel at a ratio of 2, meaning that the BPM of the second channel is now 240 BPM. This means that the notes of the second channel are now being played twice as fast as on the first channel. Now I have a ratio of 1 against 4. And, well, this rhythm might uh, sound uh, very familiar, because this essentially translates into a time signature of 4 4 But of course we can go a little bit more crazy than this with ratios. Let's say we do a ratio of 2 against pi. And I can get even more creative by uh, changing the note length of the second channel. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference to uh, making time signatures the normal way? Well, by using tempo ratios instead of note lengths, you can essentially set the note lengths to anything. Uh, like demonstrated before, what about a ratio of pi against the square root of 2? or any other decimal number. By using ratios, we can create time signatures and polyrhythms that would be otherwise very hard to create through the conventional time signatures. In other words, you get note lengths that don't adhere to, well, actual note lengths. They don't adhere to quarter notes or eight notes or 16th notes. Now, if you don't want to use the metronome beeps, um, Crazy Counter has a MIDI output of which you can set the settings in the bottom bit here. Now, I have another VST plugin loaded in called DrumKit1, which is made by Massimo Bosco. Now I'm just going to run this. Now we're still in a weird rhythm. But to me those uh, beeps sound a little bit confusing. So I'm going to dial in a bass drum. Should be this. There we go. And a hi-hat. I think that would be nice. And I'm going to lower the volume of the beeps. There we go. Now we have our um, weird little time signature translated to some drums. So check out this plugin at www.evilturtle.nl slash store. It can be downloaded for free and have fun.